Alright you guys my name is Subzero as you might know but I am upset. I am really upset right now. I have just basically hit rock bottom and now let me tell you why this is. I am sick and tired of being trialed all the time. It happens literally every day that I am out roaming around the beautiful world of Roblox and then some sicko comes along and ruins the whole day for me just by being a troll. They do whatever they can to mess with people and I have had it up to here with those guys. So I am going for a little bit of payback today. I myself will go roam across the world of Roblox and I am here at the Sub-Zero Roblox headquarters and start doing some stuff that will counteract all of the trolling. How good does that sound right? I mean I am really stoked right now because I have never been there myself. Maybe it will not be cool but maybe it will be rather hot down here who knows. So this is the building and all these people do research. So let's get a move on you guys and follow me to the other side of this officer right here. So like I told you guys a second ago, I am going to be a changed man from this point forward. And you might want to ask why. Well let me tell you guys why I am going to change my ways with the noobs and hackers. Because I have been asking myself what I could do to get rid of this hacker problem. And of course it is the growing hacker problem. But who actually is better? No one really knows now do they? I mean you can of course guess but that never got anyone far. So today I will be putting this to the test. So we have a hacker here and he is busted and I think that we can have a little fun with this because no one actually knows what is better but I think that of course the hacker will be the best I mean that would be anyone their first bet but then again I think that I still might come out on top just because I feel like I have got a lot of experience with all of this stuff here and most of them out there do not share that same skill set so this place will help me do just all of that now this will not be as special as my night in the freaking amazing and yet scary hospital but still it will be a good one I mean come on what do you guys expect from me I mean usually I always deliver it works most of the time all of the time so you know that is a little statistic for you right Right there. Now we are taking the boat of course, I mean there is no other way to get there right. Now this video will be consisting out of a lot of different topics and a lot of different things because I have no idea what to actually expect from this place right now. But right of the bat it is actually looking pretty freaking cool right now guys. So I mean come on it will be a good one I am not even sure why I am trying to convince you that this will be a good one while you all know that this will be a good video. Now I will just shut my head and stop talking about this being a good video and I will just prove to you guys that I am able to make a good video. Now of course as you all know that I had been camping or staying the night in a haunted hospital which was truly horrific. So I am definitely going to enjoy this of course. I mean look at this right here. This is just art. All of these things right here. Well this is all just pure art right now. So I am pretty sure that I have already won this right now. Man that is weird that I know actually get why they get that angry. I mean I could literally blow up when someone is getting too close to me. Okay maybe not literally but like my insides start to boil. I basically turn into an Akin Skywalker and start screaming that I do not trust the Jedi way. But that is for another time and another place because I am still in shock from the Rogue One experience. That was just mad, have you guys already seen Rogue One? Because if you have not well then you might want to go soon because man that movie is awesome dude. It literally is lit and I do not use the word lit that much but it is actually lit man. I cannot stress it enough how good that movie was. But okay Rogue One has nothing to do with creepers or anything with Roblox nor Minecraft. But I really have no idea what I am doing right now. I am getting pretty tired of being up here. It might just be the altitude that is making me exhausted but hey whatever I do right now that does not matter. It still keeps my mind off of that creeper attack from earlier today. I just cannot believe that I only just made it out alive. Of course I am glad that I made it out alive but still man it was rough. Let's just say that I hope that I will never encounter an attack like that again. That is going to be my main goal for the end of the year. To not get blown up by a hacker. That would mean that I really need to watch my back whenever I get get back into the Roblox world because that place is filled with those things but of course I could be like well I am not going back there anymore but I just cannot do that I really need to go there otherwise I would probably just go insane it is like Kanye West he needed some time off of the job but he did not do that because he loved it too much. And then they had to put him into therapy because he was literally going mad. So let's just make sure that this does not happen to me in like ever. Even though I really like Kanye, 
I just hope that I do not have to go mad and stuff because of doing this. I mean all respect to the guy but I cannot just leave you guys alone. Because if I would go mad then that would mean that I could not make. What is this? Where am I? Whose house is this? Why am I asking so many questions? I am a hacker. I should know all these things. Right. Yeah right I should know these things. Man I must have logged into the wrong account. Because I have no idea where I am. And who it is that I am logged in as. I swear to god this does not even look a little bit familiar to me. And I also have no idea where this place is. It looks kind of cool I guess. But I have no clue to what I have done to strand here. I guess I will just check around real quick to analyze and asses the situation that I am in. I cannot believe that something like this would happen to me. A monumental error that is happening. Or has happened rather. To one of the most elite hackers in the entire world. And I even specialize in cyberspace hacking and taking over lives. But I guess I will have to make do with what I have got here. And if I am right, I build in an internal backup. Which will take me out of this hacker space and take me back to my computer. Because I will need to fix a lot on the current build that I made. This is really a bummer man. I thought the hack was completed now. But I guess that nothing is less true when you think of it now. But then again hindsight is always 2020. But then again I am the computer nerd who is just sitting behind his computer all day trying to pull tricks on unsuspecting people. Feels bad man. I wish that I was more like Marcus Holloway. The new protagonist in the new Watch Dogs game. I believe it is called Watch Dogs 2. But I might need to double check that sometime. But he can do all sorts of crazy stunts. I mean I can do a lot from behind a computer. But he is much more than that. He is a social engineer, so he knows his way with words. And he can do awesome free running and all the other parkour style. I am already struggling when I try and get a new can of Mount Dew from my mini fridge underneath of my desk. Because come on, it is a pretty deep stretch, that I just cannot take. I am not built like most guys, I do not have the physique of a greed god, or Chris Evans in the Avengers or just a normal Captain America movies. But that is okay, since I do not need more than this to be a great and awesome hacker with a broad future with probably a couple million dollars stashed away for my early retirement fund. But I am still working on slouching all those dollars through different banks across the globe so that the government officials cannot track me down. And when they do, I will just blame the blind woman who I am living with. But I cannot say that too loud, because even though she is blind, her hearing man, it is insane. It is like living with a hyperactive bat. Alright but all that fun stuff aside. But let me know what you guys though of that video because I was scared beyond my brains. So I am just hoping that this is just a little legit headquarters and not some sort of freak show. But right now it is all looking rather cool and I think that I would want to work here someday. I mean if all of this YouTube thing does not work out, then I will definitely make sure that I have got something going on for ourselves in this place. But you will have to see that for yourself. I mean you will have to see it to believe it. But going back to the scary video that I did. But please let me know what you thought of that video and maybe let me know if you guys would like more of those scary type videos since we already did two this week. But I will just shut up about that because this is looking to be really exciting. Is it not my buddy Chip? I mean I think that it is really cool. How do you feel about all of this? Yeah I mean I feel the exact same way right. It just looks really cool and it would be cool to stay here for a while to just explore the offices and stuff like that right. I personally feel like this is some way to pay me back in a good way for being as awesome as I am. I feel like the game just was like, nah sub you are way too awesome and cool so here take this new office. And man does it hurt me, but I will not bow to this. I might be crying on my knees, but I will be dying on my feet. So let's not do anything all too rational right? now but I say that we just burn down everything that we see and demand answers because we do not have any answers to our questions like where is the amazing skittle machine and where is all of the sour candy that I love so much and why am I in this place right now what even is this I mean these people really have not done anything to welcome me here right well maybe that is because I kind of sneaked my way in but that does not matter they should prepare for my arrival every day because I am that cute and stuff. I mean it is not like we actually had any real questions thus far, apart from the first question that popped into my head. Like why were they not expecting us? I mean do they not care about me? 
I hardly think so. Or does the security just not do their job? But none of these computers are working so I need to find something that will actually work right now. Maybe this is the perfect timing to plan a coup on the Roblox hack developers and make this game my own. Uh, I mean make this game our own of course. We will make it the game of the people and we will get ourselves the best logo possible, and something that would fit the game perfectly. And that would be of course, like I previously said, my headshot on a banner and that would just be the most awesome logo that they could ever apply to the game. That would be the update that the people of Roblox are waiting for and they are dire to see it. They have wanted this for so long now, and we can actually make a change this time and we can make sure that this will be put in motion so that we can retake our game and make it ours again. Like this is actually the perfect time to start doing something like that. I mean I could just get behind one of these TVs and that would just be it. Oh I mean PCs of course while that was a big brain fart right there, and no not an actual fart. And Chip stop laughing you fool. That was not funny at all right now. I feel kind of embarrassed by all of this here. So I am guessing that this whole room is filled to the brim with traps. Which means that I should not be going on them. I mean it is not like they are that hidden or something. It is just a pretty bad situation to be in. But then again that kind of shows that you should not just be entering random rooms that you think are safe. Because then fast forward 2 minutes and you end up in the same boat as me in a room filled with traps and some guy who is telling you that you should be accepting a fair and nice death. Well that is something that I do not want to be dealing with. But right now I will kind of have to do this. And on the other side I would rather not have to be here. But now that I am here I am going to make the best of it because I just want you guys to be all done for today so that you can actually make sure that you do not end up in the same spot as me. And if you do end up ending up in the same spot as me, well then I am going to be here for you to show you how to move on through something like this. And since I do not have any idea on how to get through this, I think that we will just be finding that out on the way, which is kind of cool. But then on the other side it will be kind of hard because other than surviving around here, I still have no idea what I should be doing. At least I know one thing that I will not be doing, and well it would be dying. I am not going to accept a fair and nice death because I still have a lot of work to do and there is just no time for me to start dying today. So I did not die yesterday nor the day before that. So I am not starting out now. Even though I know that I might not be having full control over that because this is actually kind of hard. And by this, I of course mean that the surviving is kind of hard when the room you are in is filled with booby traps and death machines. I wonder who came up with something like this and hit all of this with some kind of room that just falls down once someone enters it and they are going to be fully bamboozled at that point and are going to get their butts kicked in this little dirt hole here. At least it felt like it were seconds later but it could have been more to be honest. I mean I was down and out so I really could not have been able to track time while I was in and out of consciousness I am so sorry you guys okay. But when I woke up I heard this in my head. It was the exact same guy his voice and I could hear it inside of my head. I mean I thought that it was coming from the room that I was in. But then I put my hands over my ears and I could still hear it. So I think that they have done something really sketchy with my brain or something. I mean I am not sure of anything right now so you know that is kind of weird for me to be honest. So here is what this line in my head was saying and I keep repeating this over and over and over again. You should have known the price of evil and it hurts to know that you belong here, yeah. It's your freaking nightmare, while your nightmare comes to life. Can wake up in sweat, cause it ain't over yet. Still dancing with your demons, victim of your own creation. Beyond the will to fight, where all that's wrong is right. Where hate don't need a reason, loathing self-assassination. You've been lied to just to rip you of your sight, and now they have a nerve to tell you how to feel. So sedated as they medicate your brain and while you slowly go insane they tell you. Given with the best intentions, help you with your complications. I mean if that is not weird to you then I do not know what is weird to you guys but I know that it was really weird to me and I cannot quite wrap my head around any of this right now which is just really scary for me to be honest. But then all of a sudden I heard something really weird. It was another voice, and it was not the man with the mask from before. It sounded familiar, and it sounded like a friend. It might have been Dennis. I am not sure right now. But it went on and on like this right here. And I know you hear their voices, calling from above. And I know they may seem real, these signals of love. But our life's made up of choices, 
some without appeal. They took for granted your soul, and it's ours now to steal while your nightmare comes to life. So I am guessing that all of the weirdness was not over yet but to be honest I am still wondering about everything that has happened lately. I mean there were so many things that went wrong today and during the last few weeks that I am not even sure about anything anymore right now. Which is just something that is really out of character for me because I really just cannot get on with that sort of stuff. I mean I would love to be able to find out what is going on and all but I really do not think that I can get behind anything that is the truth right now so I might as well just leave it at that. So I will see you in the next video, if there will even be one. Thank you.